up for more than the day, y'all. I'm sitting on the dot door. And, uh, man, I'm barely making it, y'all. I'm, I'm fucking, <laughs> I'm hanging in there, y'all. <laughs> I get to the co-signing. It's at a distribution center. Go inside. As soon as I walk inside, you know, I look at the wall, and they talking about a lump. Damn paper said the minimum price, the minimum charge is sixty dollars. The maximum charge is three seventy-five. I look at my wallet; I only got one hundred and twenty dollars. I get a lady the paperwork. She look over it. She tell me it's gonna be two hundred and twenty dollars. Man, I didn't know what the fuck to do, y'all. I didn't. <laughs> I didn't know what to do. I'm telling you. So I come back to the truck. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to call I'm trying to call the broker trying to figure out, you know what I'm saying? Can he uh can somebody that worked there send me some type of um PO number or something? Man, they closed. They are closed. They only open up until 8 a.m. It's like 6 a.m. right now. So I'm sitting over here like, okay, shit, are they gonna take a personal check? But I ain't got no personal checks on me. I'm like, okay, so I can't use a credit card. I can't write them a personal check. You know what I'm saying? Do I need to drop the trailer and go to Walmart right quick or find the nearest ATM? But I'm looking on my map. I'm in the middle of nowhere. So I'm like, shit, how the fuck am I gonna get 200? And while I'm thinking it is, they already, they, as soon as I walked out of here, they was already in the back taking that shit off. So I'm like, okay. Now they offered, you know what I'm saying? All these places so far that offered me the uh, chance to go back in do it myself, but I don't know how, I don't, that ain't for me, it's negative 10 too in now, so, I don't know how to do all that, that ain't for me, I ain't trying to fuck nothing up, so, what I did was, it's right here, had these checks laying around from Wet's Fleet One, it's the people I got my fuel car from, y'all know where this is going, right, I opened it up, and I'm like, man, these chits look like, look, look at that. They look like regular TCH chits. I'm like, cool. So I said, let me write a check and uh, give it to them. So I come back on my computer back here. Let me, let me show y'all what I'm talking about. I had to set this up because I ain't never wrote no check before. And to come back here. You know what I'm saying? I'm on the website right now. On my computer. I'm on the hold on, make sure. Okay, hold on. Wait a minute, hold on. Y'all see this? I'm on the Wet's Fleet One website. They got this called Plus Check Dispatch. You see that? Plus Check Dispatch. And then look, look how much money I got on my card. I got you know what I'm saying? $1,370. Cause I, that's my fuel money right there. So I got to pay for this lump of shit using my fuel money. And you see I can I can I can dispatch a check using my fuel money. Cool. So I, I type the shit in and I get declined. And I'm like, you got to be kidding me. So I pick up the phone, call up Fleet One. I guess they 24 hours because they answered the phone. And the lady was like, you ain't got plus chits enabled on your account. I'm like, okay, well, just enable it. Like, I got the chits in my hand. Just do whatever you got to do. She was like, nah, that ain't how it work. We got to send you a form. You got to sign it and send it back. I was like, no, for real? I'm like, I already got an account with y'all. She was like, nah, it's real simple. I'm going to email you the form. Just fill it out, send it back. I can, I can email. I can. We can activate it right now. I'm like, well, if it's that easy, go on, email me the form. I'm show y'all the form right quick. Let me get it open. This all the form was. It's uh the Fleet One cast products. Uh, basically, I just fill out my information here, and I just had to check plus checks. So I did that. Sent the form back. And I was able to cut a check, y'all. I cut a check for 220. Now the check ain't cleared yet. I gave them the check. They just told me 
they gonna call me when I come back in when my, when my paperwork is ready. So I'm hoping when she called that number that uh, the check actually go through, you know what I'm saying? They gave me a confirmation number for this check, but this is my first time writing one. So we got, I, got, I gotta get this together, y'all. This is not, this, this was not planned. I ain't got no account, no money saved up for no lumpers. Even though I get reimbursed, I don't get reimbursed for seven whole days. Now, you know, they gave me, um, my job gave me EFS checks. See, they gave me EFS checks, but what good is the EFS check if I don't know how to get a PO number, which is what I'm asked today when they open up. Now, I get, like I said, I get reimbursed. Uh, they're gonna give me the receipt. I got to have the receipt, but I don't know if they issue a uh, matter of fact, you know what they don't. They don't. I just remember. Oh man. These EFS tests, I forgot we get paid on EFS on the EFS card. Uh, the way I got mine set up, when they send me my money on EFS, I just have it direct deposited. But some people, they gotta write themselves out a check to get the money off their car, so that's, that's what that's for. See, it came with um, it came with uh this little packet, EFS packet. It was just they just had checks in here and it told us all about EFS and all that shit. So uh, I'm hoping this shit clear, cause if it don't, I gotta come up with a plan B. And I ain't got no plan B, cause. We ain't really had no plan A, so that's what I'm working with today. And, uh, shit, right after this, I got to reload, and I'm hoping the place I just, the place I'm taking this back to, I'm hoping they ain't got no lumpy fees. Because I wasn't, I was not expecting this today at all. It's something I wasn't prepared for. Paying for lumpers out of pocket at ridiculous rates. So far, I've spent. This is two twenty. The first one was two. That was two something. I put that shit on my credit card. So we just spent four hundred dollars in lumpers. We already. Let me think. We spent four hundred in lumpers. Then I'm constantly at the ATM machine for the toll booth out here. Which of course the toll booth only take cash. And then any maintenance, you know, I got well, I got a credit card for that. It's like I got the cash for it. I can pay for all this with cash, but I don't got the cash on me. You know what I'm saying? I'm not walking around. The, this, the, this the way I see it. If I got to pay lumpers for the next seven days. Let's just say I do four loads a day. If they all gonna charge me $200, that's two, four, six, eight. That's $800 I need just for lumpers. Plus the toll booth, which is gonna be another hundred. That's $900 just walking around every single week. That ain't gonna happen. Plus I stay out here weeks at a time. So this is, I can't do it. We got to, we need to come up with a new system. Comment below if y'all know what to do because I know some of y'all out there is in the same position. Like I said, I get reimbursed, but it, it, it just ain't it ain't quick, it ain't instant. You know, it'd be different if, you know what I'm saying, I could write a check, they put the money right back on there or something, back on my card or something, but like I said, I'm using my fuel money to pay for this damn lumper. I'm glad I had a lot of money on now. Now that's my prepaid account, that's the account that's giving me uh, big discounts. That's the account I originally got with uh, uh, NASTC to where I couldn't qualify for, you know, a credit line. But I do got an account with them, another account, the RTS card, the blue one, y'all know what I'm talking about. That one got a credit line, which is, that's probably what I should have wrote a check for them with, but I needed the funds right now. But uh, I'm gonna call them today, see if I can resend that same, e well damn, I ain't got no plus checks for, I don't know, let me see. I don't know if they, uh, 
I think you can use this, these plus tents for any account. I was thinking these tents are like account by account type shit. Bad by SunTrust Bank, so <sighs> I'm gonna have to slow it down today. See the original plan, we we, we finna reload. Well, right now I gotta go to another side of the building to reload, just to receive inside. But the original plan was to um, I left Maine, came down to where I'm at now. I was gonna go back to Maine and deliver again today. But if if I got to pay for a lump, we got to slow it down. We got to we got to slow it down until some money start rolling in or something. Cause I'm might as well just say I'm in the hole, even though I'm not in the hole. I'm in the hole as far as my end go, but not as far as the truck and the trailer and all that. That's why I'm not uh telling y'all what company I'm in. Cause y'all just ready to put in these applications. Y'all gonna lose your girlfriend, your goddamn family, your kids, divorce. All right now. <laughs> All right now, but uh, y'all see what I'm going through. If y'all want to do it now, you got to save your money. Now y'all see that fuel car back there. I started out with uh, I think I put two thousand. Let me go back. I'm gonna show you how much I deposited and when I deposited. I'll be wearing my fuel money. Let me go to back to my account right quick. Give me one second. Payment list, payment history, is it payment history? Good to have internet in the truck, otherwise I'd be fucked up today. Payment date, uh, what is, uh, we we'll do 829, I think that's the last time. The thirty first. Okay, so check it out. This was uh on the way to orientation. Okay, see I wired them on the thirty first. See that thirty first wire. They had to wire fifteen hundred. Okay, and that fifteen hundred. That was to pay for me to get the orientation, go pick up my trailer, and go do all these loads, you know what I'm saying, for the first week. But I gotta constantly wire that money back to them when it runs out. Not it don't work. Sometimes I don't run out of uh, fuel money um, every week because, you know, like right now I'm doing short loads, it's paying a lot of money, so I'm not really wasting fuel. Plus I was going like 55 miles per hour, so you know. But uh, it's tough out here. And I'm, I'm kind of dependent on this account. Even though I got all the, the credit lines for the fuel, they don't save me the bigger, you know, the, the discount I need, like this account right here does. I really need a credit line on this account, but they, uh, we, we working on it. We working on it. But I'm going to get back to y'all. You know what I'm saying? I got to go back in here and uh, hope this damn check didn't clear.